Who is Ishmael Kone? Why didn't the Blades in the summer sign Ishmael Kone? And could the Blades sign Ishmael Kone in January? Ishmael Kone. If you are a Sheffield United fan, you may have only heard his name being said from September 2022. But if you're a Canadian football fan, well, you may have heard his name earlier on in 2022. But across the pond, Kone is known as a very, very hot prospect indeed. Highly rated Canadian midfielder Ishmael Kenneth Jordan Kone was rumoured around transfer deadline day in September to be a target for Sheffield United. Kone's move could be back on the cards in January, but certainly from previous murmurings, it looks like Kone would only come to Bramall Lane if there was a player exiting the club, namely Club Bruce target Sander Berger. Some sources claiming the fee could be around $5.7 million. Transfer guru Fabrizio Romano even tweeted about this possible transfer. And he doesn't miss on many, does he? He suggested that the Blades were closing in on a deal and shared the fee of around £4.5 million up to a £5 million package, including bonuses. Had it gone through, this would have been the fifth highest transfer for a Canadian player ever. Do you want some more information on the man that could lead the Blades in the second half of the season to the promised land? Well, here's Hal with said information. He plays for CF Montreal and is a full Canadian international. He made his international debut on the 24th of March against Costa Rica, but he was actually born in the Ivory Coast, then moved to Canada as a child. Norwich have apparently looked at the six foot two box to box midfielder. He could, and many believe should, be involved in the World Cup too. Canada will participate in its second World Cup and will co host the 2026 World Cup along with the United States and Mexico. Canadian football analyst Manu Vett said, I would be shocked if Ishmael Kone is not part of John Herdman's squad that will travel to Qatar. Kone is both creative and and athletic, and his profile is rare among Canadian players. What is interesting to note, Kone not only just turned professional this year, but also didn't play organised football at all. At times, that still shows, as he can be a bit raw, but it also highlights his almost endless potential. Yes, as Manu says, Kone made his professional debut in February 2022, but his stock is continuing to rise seemingly day by day. So hats off to Sheffield United's scouting department, finding players like this playing in Major League Soccer. From what I've seen of him, he has a good range of passing. I've described him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, but he can play that deeper defensive role if required. He can play further forward or even out wide. He's got pace, quick feet, has a few tricks in the locker, likes a tackle, and his positional awareness seems a really strong attribute too. One thing to keep an eye on will be his contract situation, as according to Transfer Market, Kone's contract is expiring in December 2022, but his club have an option for additional years, and they will, without a doubt, trigger the option once the MLS Cup playoffs have been concluded. Blades boss Paul Heckinbottom is a known admirer of Kone. Here's what Hecky had to say about this transfer. It was doable to sign Kone, someone who fits the profile. But I stress this, anyone we spoke to were not seen as replacements for Sander. We're not going to replace UCL players for a couple of million pounds. He fit the profile of players with potential and with attributes which could go to another level and we can improve. We were up front with the MLS plus Montreal. He'd have to be one who stays in the mind for the January transfer window. Which is one of the reasons why we've recorded this video in preparation for January. There's been a lot of Canadian pressure put on Ishmael Kone's shoulders, as some are starting to call him the next Alfonso Davis. But many have come before him and never reached the heights of the Bayern Munich star. If Kone does indeed go to the World Cup and shines... This also could impact a possible signing for Paul Heckingbottom's Blades, as other clubs may take an interest in the player, or it could just make Prince Abdullah and the Blades hierarchy want to sign Ishmael even more. So let's hope the Blades manage to obtain this young man's signature and he lives up to all the Canadian hype that's surrounding him. But this time, let's leave Sanderberger's name out of the equation, shall we chaps? 
That's all for this video, but before you go, let us know in the comments. First of all, would you like the Blades to sign Ishmael Kone in January? Do you think that Sander Berger will have to be part of the deal for us to actually sign Kone? And if you enjoyed this video, please let us know all of that in the comments. See you soon.